Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and I'm here once again at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And before we get started on the comic books, do not forget that on Wednesday at about 6 o'clock sharp p.m., we're going to be having the wedding of Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle. No spoilers. Um, I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but there are going to be cosplayers here. I talked about it briefly last week, I'm talking about a little bit more exasperating detail here with, you know, a reminder of the, the whole thing. Yeah, guys, make sure that if you're anywhere near the Mississauga area, come on by, swing on by. We've got more than enough comics, all right? More than enough collectibles. It's kind of what we do here. And we also got cosplay of the wedding itself. Who knows what's going to happen? Heck, it might be even better than the comic book. Okay, let's get started on the comics themselves. We got part three of five of Ant-Man and the Wasp by Mark Wade. Yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, Javier uh, Garon is doing something in here. I guess he's drawing, you know, whatever, <laughs> anyway. And uh, Israel Silva. So this is a really good story. This is a really good story. The the microverse monsters in here are, uh, I hate saying it, but they're darn cute. <laughs> Um, this is not your typical kill em all kind of uh, kind of book. It's actually a really, really fun book. All right, issue number four of The Avengers. This is just an absolutely fantastic story. I'm digging it, I'm loving it. Can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. Uh, there's also some crossovers in some of the other books with this Avengers. Okay, here it is, guys. Batman, issue number 50, the wedding issue. All right, let's see if this can top X-Men Gold, issue number 30, all right? Spoilers be damned, okay? Again, try try to hold off on them in the in the comments, but the idea is let's let's see if some way somehow it's going to be better. Okay, issue number twenty one of Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider. Oh yeah, uh, I'm. You know what? I say it all the time. I say it all the time. This is a fantastic book, and you should be reading it. It's Peter David for crying out loud. We've been waiting for this one, controversy or not. Uh, looks like oh, I'm sweating. So um, Captain America issue number one by Tana Hesse Coates. Um, I'm just saying I love the story idea. I read the first six or seven or eight pages, whatever it is, really good so far, really good. So again, critics, I don't know what the, the critics who, who are criticizing before the book even comes out, man, like you, you, want to want, you want to know what an ulterior motive is? Check out those guys. So Cosmic Ghost Rider, issue number one, just, okay, issue number one of five, by the way, this will not be an ongoing series unless they change their mind later. Right now it's slated for five issues. Uh, Donny Cates is writing it too. He created the guy. Let's do it, baby. Curse of Brimstone. You want to go with the uh, alt Ghost Rider. <laughs> this is it right here. Uh, issue number four. Uh, so far, I'm digging it. Um, I don't even want to go with so far. I know it's only four issues of a brand new character, but I'm loving the story. It's it's fantastic. This issue should really tell us which direction the comic book is actually going to go. Uh, I made certain suggestions of different directions it can go in issue number three. So, Dark Arc issue number eight. This is just Cullen Bunn at his absolute highest, grandiose best. I love this. Nothing else to say about that. Okay, guys, Deathstroke issue number 33. Yes, this is a variant cover, but yes, this is Damian Wayne with the, it looks like it's more makeup than anything else, but, you know, mask, whatever you want to call it, with his regular hood on. Digging it. Uh, this is a really awesome cover, even though I'm kind of curious about the story. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm actually going to read or not. I'm going to look at it here. If I like it, I'll take it home, you know, I'll buy it and actually, you know, take it home and whatnot. But for now, I'm still up in the air. I'm not happy with where the story's going thus far. Issue number two of Scotty Young's Deadpool. So far, so good. We'll see. Something that's good regardless is issue number three of, of uh, Doctor Strange. Donny Cates is no longer writing. Mark Wade is writing. I th like this is the kind of comic book that gets critics to change their mind. Like that good, all right? Fantastic story. It's also an Infinity War tie-in. Uh, so necessary, maybe. It looks like he's gonna grab a, a stone that used to be the Soul Stone back in the day. I don't know what stone that is today. Anyway, here we go. Green Arrow, or better than Green Arrow. This is issue number 42. This is part two of a six issue arc that uh, I just jumped on last month. Pretty good. I'm digging this. Uh, Parasite, Greenland, uh, Green Arrow alone in the uh, in the sewers with Parasite. Ah, man, I'm digging it. And he already he already got hooked up by Mastodon, Mastif by Mastif. Okay, Infinity Countdown Champions issue number two of two. Good story. Good story. Immortal Hulk issue number two. Fantastic stuff. I can't wait. Can't wait. Like the first one blew me away. It blew you away. It blew your mother away. It was that good. Let's see what this one does. 
Watch it just completely turn around. We're like, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, we got Justice League, issue number three of who knows. But uh, I will say that not only is this awesome, but guys, especially since you know that I am a huge Hawkman fan, look at this variant cover. Look at her wings. Oh my God. <laughs> so Hawk, or, Hawk Woman. Yeah, she's Hawk Woman or Hawk Girl in this. I forget. I think it's Hawk Woman in this. Anyway, Hawk Lady, <laughs> Lady Black Hawk. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, part six of six of The Man of Steel. Yeah, this is going to wrap it up, and then we're going to st start opening up into the uh, Action Comics issue number 1001 again. We're going to start opening up into the regular Superman comic book again. Bendis. Bendis has Superman in the palm of his hands. X-Men Gold, issue number 31. <laughs> let's see let's see where we're going to go from here. Uh, I've, I've got my speculations. Ooh, also, where's my... Oh, no, I can't find it. Astonishing X-Men. It wasn't over there. Listen, Astonishing X-Men, issue number 13, should be out this week also, where Colossus is on that team. So I can imagine what's going to happen here. Just saying. But uh, also, who's the sixth X-Man? You got Dazzler's joining the team. A whole bunch of... Well, she's actually going to join the team in the next issue, uh, according to Matthew Rosenberg. But either way, who's going to be the sixth X-Man? I have it on special authority that I was like, don't give me spoilers. I was like, okay, no spoilers, but it's big. It's huge. I'm like, okay, cool. I can't wait to read it. So now I got to go in and find it. Um, also, what's out this week is, uh, by the way, Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Also, what's out this week is uh, Ghost, uh, Ghost Wolf. Whoa, I read the original four-issue limited series for Ghost Wolf way, way, way back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, two years ago? Anyway, not the point. It was a really good story, and they got issue number four of something out now of another Ghost Wolf story. Cool. Okay, issue number 20 of Weapon X. The story is fantastic again, just saying. And finally, Hunt for Wolverine, Weapon Lost is issue number three of four. This is the variant cover, but yeah, anyway, you get the gist. All right, guys, let's see what kind of collectibles we got, shall we? Hey, guys, and now the collectibles portion of the day. We've got DC Bombshells Raven. Look at the statue, and you might be saying, but what about Starfire? Don't worry, guys, we got you right here. I don't think this is the bombshells version, but it's still, she's still a bombshell no matter how you look at it. Okay, moving on. We got a Vampirilla over here. What is this? We got a, oh, we got the Killing Joke version of the Joker. How you doing? And this actually looks like it's full scale. Not too shabby, dudes. Okay, we got some icons. It's about time. Uh, one of these is going to be mine, just saying Aquaman. Been waiting for Aquaman icons. Uh, we're going to throw in some Super Saiyan over here, and then uh, we're going to go with Deathstroke. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We got some Wonder Woman over here, another icon. It's a new 52 version. I personally am not a huge fan, but you know, it is what it is. And then up top, we got some uh, Flash from the actual TV show, or excuse me, this is from the movie, the Justice League movie. Okay. And right here, I'm actually really digging this. One and a half, or one, one, tw one twelfth scale uh, plastic models. Okay, not too shabby right there. Not too shabby, both of these guys. This is actually pretty cool. I like the Star Wars models. That's something that I'm missing in my life. Okay, uh, Sailor Moon, hello. And we got some more of the Thor Ragnaroks, but these are, these actually look like, look at this, this is actually bendable figures and whatnot. This is actually really cool, man. They got a whole bunch here. Okay, we got <laughs> just like, <laughs> this Q-Fig is just everything. This, this answers all the questions I've ever had in life. Okay, here we go. I don't think they're going to do a bombshell version of uh, Black Lightning, but this is definitely the Netflix series version or whatever, CW, anyway. Um, and also we got some Incredibles and Guardians of the Galaxies, the, uh, the little figs inside. What do we got here? Oh, we got more. Okay, pretty much more of the same for the uh, Motley Crue guys. We got uh, Bryce Harper, Buggy Posey, Aaron Judge. Okay, cool. Oh, and Noah Snydergaard down there, too. And who's this? Yadir Molina. Don't know who that is. Okay. Oh, nice. Look at this. We got some more of the uh, Batman figures. Look at this. This is actually this actually looks like the uh, Dark Knight, or excuse me, the regular Batman, Ma Michael Keaton version. Not too bad. It's not his face. I don't think it was meant to be his face at the very least. Definitely not the the horns and all that. But yeah, nice, nice. This is actually really good. I'm digging that. Okay. We got a couple more of these guys in. And on top of that, guys, we got three of these in. This is the one that a lot of people question. This is the one that I've got, okay? The Walmart exclusive version is cute. The, uh, the Build-A-Figure, it looks like the movie, but it's not my taste. This, this is what I like. This is the one I got. You got Mistress Death and her human face mask. You got uh, Thanos himself. 
and that left gauntlet can be removed and replaced with the Infinity Gauntlet one. That's right, this one is non-Infinity Gauntlet. So, yeah, I can't complain. Yeah, this one is not Infinity Gauntlet. Anyway, this is actually my favorite version of Thanos, and it's huge. If you're gonna get those Marvel 12-inch figures, they're about the size of Mistress Death, so she, he really looks monstrous. And this is not a bad price. Um, don't know what it is here, but yeah. Got another one of the aliens in because they sold out. And uh, we got this Mike Manola Batman. And oh, this is actually really cool. We got the uh, Steve Trevor and Wonder Woman uh, busts. Actually, they're above the busts. They're from like waist up. Maybe it's more. Oh no, nope. My bad. My bad. It's the whole thing. Okay, this is so. This is one base, and they're both together. This is actually really cool. Not too shabby, guys. Hey guys, also I forgot to mention that the two True Believers books this week have a lot to do with the uh, uh, the Fantastic Four. One of them is actually the wedding issue of the Fantastic Four. So guys, for one dollar, you can have the actual wedding issue. This was a Fantastic Four annual. I think it was the third annual, if I remember correctly. I think it was the third annual. Regardless, this is the marriage of Sue Storm and Reed Richards. So it's kind of an important one. So if you've never read it before, you can get it for one dollar. Okay, guys. Also, don't forget, boom, right here, the wedding of Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle. It actually shouldn't be Bruce and, and Selina. It was actually supposed to be Batman and Catwoman. Yes, there was a difference. They were not getting married in their civilian identities. They were getting married in their superhero identities. That's important. There's going to be a bunch of people like, oh, fuck it, Ben. They're the same people. Maybe you should read a comic book. Yeah, maybe you should listen. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to let this one go. Don't forget, Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. This is Professor Bill, Comic Book University. <sighs> I say it all the time, guys. Class dismissed. Hey, guys, Professor Bill from Comic Book University, and I'm here to show off these amazing prints for the wedding of uh, Batman and Catwoman. And what's so special about these besides they're absolutely awesome, and mind you, these are the rough cut prints. We've got the regular prints that are gonna be on sale, all right, but these are also the individual, individually numbered. Uh, I believe there's only gonna be 25 of these. Yeah, like that. Uh, and what's so special about this? Well, it's it's Ken Lashley, man. Ken Lashley of Doomsday, uh, you know, Superman Doomsday fame, the artist, and, and he did the, like the X-Men Gold, and. You know what? If you don't know who Ken Lashley is, that's not my fault. That's on you, man. Like, you were just raised wrong. <laughs> With all due respect. Um, check these out. This is gorgeous. You got all the characters in the back. Oh, yes. And like I said, numbered. Guys, you're not going to find these at your other comic book stores. Please, allow me to expunge the record. You will not find these at your other comic book stores. Only here at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles. You might be wondering to yourself, but Professor Bill, do they ship to America? Yes, they do. You know what else we ship to America? We got 50 of these, the black and whites. That's right, just the pencils and inks, guys. So, like, we're not clowning around here. And you might sit here and say to yourself, but Professor Bill, these are really nice, okay? And also, the, the, like, these are the, the rough ones, all right, as opposed to the regular prints. These are the, the hand drawings. No, no, no. Let's, let's get a little bit more funky with that. What do you say if we were to go... That's right, guys. We got some, some uh, metal ones here. And just look at this. Just look at these. So, how big do you want them? How strong do you want them? How small do you want them? Just you name it. Okay, these are limited and only here, Gotham Central, Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. But make sure you check out Facebook later on tonight, that's Tuesday, all the prices should be up attached to this video on the Facebook page for Gotham Central. But on top of that, <laughs> you should also check the, if you're checking this out on my channel, then you should absolutely go and check this out on the, the Facebook page. All of the information is right up here. And make sure you check it out to see what the prices are and how to get it shipped to you. It's actually not that bad. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.